Hello friends, so today we can discuss the fourth problem from the latest code forces round 706 problem name let's go hiking. So this problem is not too difficult to understand first from the problem statement but it is difficult to find out the logic of this problem but you just have to draw out some test cases to understand what is going on and try to think optimally in respect to both of the players. So let's start from the problem statement. It states that like there are two person you can call this Quinsha and the other person is uh, as you can see Daniel I think so yeah, Daniel so now what they think is both of these persons try to go on a hiking trip but they do not go on a hiking trip like uh, on an actual way but they start solving this hiking trip on a paper so now what they do here is they have a permutation P so which means that all the numbers are distant and now a permutation P is written from left to right and then first Quinsha chooses an integer X. Now the first person I'll tell you the person A and B. So Quinshan is A and Daniel is B or I'll okay I'll mention as Quinshan and Daniel. So first Quinshan will choose an index as you can see X and then Daniel will choose an index. Daniel will choose an index as that it is not the same as Quinshan. So both of them so first Quinshan will choose an index and then Daniel will choose an index as that both of them are different. Then they will play a game in such a manner as you can see the game is clear such that if it is Quincha turn then what will happen Quincha will move or like it can move from x which is its current position to x dash such that x dash should be inbound which is fine x dash minus x should be equal to 1 which means that now x dash minus x which means that like the difference of the indexes because now from x it can go to x dash which means the next position so the position difference should be equal to 1 which means that the, the quincha can move from can move either to left or either to right okay so which means that the like the difference of the indexes should be equal to 1 which means that if quincha is on index i it can either go to index i minus 1 or i plus 1 and it should not should not be equal to y which means that like they cannot like cannot go to the same index and then this condition is also important such that so it must go to the x x dash index, x dash index now so as you can see x dash is less than p of x which means that quincha will go to the next index such that its value should be less than the index on which it is so you can assume that in uh, quincha is some index which is let's assume equal to 5 now this now let's assume this is 4 and this is 6 this is some permutation which is like 1 2 3 4 5 6 now quincha is on this position so either he can go to this position or this position but also you have to ensure that the position on which quincha will go it should be less than the position on which the quincha is currently is as you can see the x dash position he want to go it should be less than p of x so the p of x he is on and p of x dash you want to go so x dash can be this or this but p of x dash should be less than p of x so it means that he can either only go to this position for this case quincha can only go to this position and for Daniel, Daniel also have to do the same thing. But now Daniel has to move up the hill. So it's like Quincha is moving down the hill because like Quincha can always move to the next index, which is smaller than the index of its current on which the Quincha is. So as you can see, Quincha is on this. So it can go to this or this and this. And Daniel can move up the hill. I hope you understand the problem. So now they both are playing this game optimally, which means that they both want to like so Daniel want to climb a hill and Quincha want to go down a hill and they choose one by one. So first chances of Quincha and they first both choose a starting point individually. So first Quincha will choose a starting point and then according to that Daniel will choose a starting point. Now you are Quincha's friend or you're like a fan. So now you have to tell that among the given permutation how many positions are there for Quincha such that whatever Daniel will choose a current position Quincha will always win. So you just have to tell that okay if Quincha chooses this index then whatever position the annual starts Quincha will always win. So you just have to, to tell like what are those positions. Okay so now in this problem what you'll do here is or what you see here is first see uh, the examples as you can see this is 0 and this is 1 okay if you draw this example which is 1 2 5 4 3 now what you can see here is uh, because it is like a downhill uphill type thing you just always try to also draw it also like, like a downhill type thing so it's like a it's up, uphill one two five and then it is like a, a four and three 
so it is like uh, if you number this level as a like zeroth level first level second level then like it is decreasing so first level and like the zeroth level so it's like a like a hill i hope you get the point because uh, it's like I, i'm just comparing the current index with the previous index so if i give this a zeroth index or zeroth level then because it is increasing so i give one level then it is two level now it is not increasing it decreasing so i'll decrease down with one so it is one level but the current decrease so zeroth level that's why i have made a hill now what you can see in this problem is uh, so if quincha start at this position now if quincha start at this position daniel can start at any of the bottom positions which is better for daniel so uh, if daniel has start at this position what will happen is uh, if quincha let's assume move to this position daniel will move to this position quincha will move to this position daniel will move to this position and quincha cannot move so quincha will lose so this is not the best position but as you can see in the example third third position which is the top position is the best position so it means that i am doing something wrong so uh, okay so if quincha if i am moving like this now quincha move quincha is at the top position and daniel position position is this if quincha move to this position daniel cannot move because they cannot move to the same index and thus quincha will move in i hope you get the point so as you can see if the length is somewhat odd as you can see the length is odd in this uh, because like uh, the odd length means that because this is a monotonic function like this is increasing so the length is like odd as you can see the length is 3 so when the length is 3 like both of them start moving to the like same point because they have to start their or decide their starting point so quincha will start this and because quincha will always start from the top point and daniel will start from the end point because daniel want to go up and quincha want to go down and if the length is somewhat odd in between then they want then quincha will start going to the same direction as daniel and then obviously quincha because it start from the first chance quincha will win else uh, daniel will lose okay but now if the length is even if the length is even uh, like if uh, i'm not drawing out every test case but let's assume that there is some permutation in which like it, it is the same thing like 1 2 3 but it is not like like uh, so the zeroth level first level second level then it's third level and then it is like uh, again second level first level zeroth level now because now in this case uh, i'm not writing out the permutation i'm just writing out the levels which i have told you so that like there might be some permutation which is satisfying these levels so as you can see now in this case uh, even if i go to the same direction quincha can move one chance and then like daniel can move one chance and now quincha cannot move so this is wrong direction like in this it is fail and if quincha start to in this direction and daniel on this direction then obviously again quincha cannot move and in both of these cases if the length like if this triangle length is uh, as you can see if this triangle length is a uh, even length then quincha will always fail if it is odd length then quincha will win i hope you get the point so these are some cases and the next thing here is let's assume there can be cases in which there are two triangles there can be two triangles or there can be multiple triangles okay or maybe they can be one high triangle then there are some small triangles then like this okay so there can be some levels like this there can be some permutation which is like this okay if it could be like this then as you can see quincha will always start from the top because see if the it can also be such that the permutation can be like this which is like 1 2 3 4 5 6 maybe like this so if quincha can always go down the hill i hope you get the point so if quincha start from this point daniel can just take the next position and now because quincha cannot because quincha has only one way and now he cannot go down the hill so in all, in all the cases in whatever the case if it is only one monetary function like this then quincha will always lose because whatever position quincha will choose quincha will choose daniel will just just choose the next position and uh, like because now the game starts so that quincha will never choose so this case always will lose and also as you can see in this case if there are multiple hills like this now if quincha will choose a smaller hill okay smaller hill then uh, daniel will choose a larger hill to go up the upside and because now quincha has smaller hill to go down uh, he has less chances and daniel has more chances so daniel will always win 
so it means that quincia will always choose the largest height i hope you get the point so if there are multiple levels if there are multiple levels then quincia will always choose the one which is the largest because if we'll choose the smallest one daniel will choose the largest one and will so if the both are on the largest one only they can be multiple largest one like they can be both of the largest one like as you can see if both are on the largest one then also uh, as you can see quincia will lose only because as you can see maybe uh, as you can see if both are of the same height if there are two uh, hills of the same height then what will happen here is uh, like quincia has let's assume that this is of 1 2 3 4 okay and this is also 1 2 3 4 and then 3 2 1 okay now just see that for four it will go to 3 it will go to this go to this this go to this go to this and now quincha cannot move so in whatever case as you can see if the length is same because quincha chances first both will come to the end at the same point but now because the next chances quincha quincha cannot move and thus if they are more than two height more than two triangles which are of the same length also of the same triangle then also quincha will lose so it means that there should be only one triangle of the maximum height okay so we just have to find out the first the maximum height triangle and we have to ensure that there should be only one maximum height triangle if there are more than maximum height triangles quincha will lose if there okay if there's some smaller triangles also You you don't have to choose the smaller triangle. You always have to choose the larger triangle. I hope you get the point. So you just always have to choose the larger triangle, and among the larger triangle, you always have to ensure that what you have to ensure that the length, like the length, it should be like it should be even. If sorry, it should be odd. If the length is odd, then only you will win. Okay, else you will always lose. So you just have to count out that that number of triangles should be equal to one. and number of like the the hill should be equal to 1 uh, also they they can be a case in which like they can be monotony function from one side which is like this and uh, like they can be hill which is like uh, of the level 4 at this point then it goes down only three levels at this point then it is some increasing then it is decreasing and it is like this then also like whatever you'll choose because the levels are same now the levels are same like because as you can see uh, uh whatever you choose quincha like cannot win because as you can see in this case also what whatever you choose like quincha will always lose because as you can see like daniel can move up there always okay and thus like quincha cannot move like it is only giving daniel some more chances i i hope you get the point and thus in all in all those cases uh, you just have to ensure that there should be only one high like only one uh, triangle and, and among that one triangle you have to ensure that the length should be equal to uh, odd because it is even then also quincha will lose in both of the cases either go to left or right so i'll take it out to the code part now we will make it more clear so that's what i'm doing in this problem i'll show i'll share the code in the description to make it even more clear so what you're doing here is uh just take them out of all the numbers and then just make two functions to find out the monotony monotonicity like if i move from left to right what is the maximum height i can get as you can see okay then there is a maximum height i can get so how how you can show that just uh, if from the from the maximum point if the like if the ith compare the ith with the i minus 1 if it is increasing then you just keep on increasing like from the like i'm just creating a vector which is storing out what is the maximum monotonicity But like as you can see, if the i ith element is greater than i minus one element, then increment the like the i ith element with the i minus one value, not with the value but the level. So I'm creating so initial level is zero. So I'm creating a uh, empty vector which is like all the vectors as all the levels are zero. Then I'm moving from first index. So the first or the zeroth index is the zeroth level. So then I'm starting from the first index and then comparing it with the previous index. If it is greater, then this will become the first level. So this is zeroth level, then the first level, and so on. So I'm storing out all the levels, and then also finding out what is the maximum level I've encountered if I move from left to right. Then I'll do the same thing for right side also, and then find out the maximum level. So in the end, we have the maximum level, the maximum height of the like the like the mountain which we have seen. Then we have to find out how many, uh, like how many uh, from if we go from left to right, how many peaks I've seen. 
which are of the maximum height and if i go from right to right how many peaks i've seen we have to count them out and because there is only one hill if we go from left to right and we can go from right, right to left because there is one hill there's one monotonic function from the left side and one monotonic fun function from the right side so there should be equal to two so as you can see uh, if uh, my maximum peaks the maximum peak i have seen till now if it is greater than two then obviously it means that there are more triangles or more mountains but but i only want one mountain so it should be equal to two only if it is greater than two then we don't want so if it is equal to two like less than equal to two then only we have some matter to solve so as you can see uh, we, we are counting out and we are counting out from left to right how many maximum peaks are there okay so we just count out if the maximum peaks are greater than two then we just return out zero because there is no answer else what we'll do we'll iterate from left to right again in this whole because we have stored the more density and at whatever point i'll found out a peak how can i found out a peak because if i move from left to right there might be a storing out the levels which is 0 1 2 3 4 and when i move from right to left also there might be some uh, monotonic function which is like 0 1 2 3 4 oh, i hope you get the point because i'm storing out the the levels so because at the peak position they should the levels at the left monotonic function at the right monotonic function should match because the levels moving from left to right if it is 0 1 2 3 4 then because it is decreasing so i don't because i'm just storing out the increasing monotonic function value okay so and then move from right to left then also we are storing out so at the peak position both the values should match so when the position of both the values match at that position if i found out that okay this is a peak that's the peak we are searching for and if that peak value is like if that okay function value because that's the peak value of finding out if it is greater equal to zero because we want the total length of that should be odd okay if you want that to be odd then because i'm finding out my uh, as you can see my levels from zero so as you can see if my triangle length is from zero one two okay so if my maximum peak value is equal to two which means that my length is equal to odd because i'm starting from level equal to zero i hope you get the point because my level value is equal to maximum level value is two only which is even but now my level length is equal to odd because i want my level length to be odd because if my length length is odd as you can see it is like zero one two then if Quincha start at this position and Daniel start at this position. Quincha can move one chance and Daniel cannot move. So length is equal to three, which is fine. But the maximum level value is two because we are starting from zero to the next. That's what we are checking that if my the now we have reached the uh, the peak value because both the bi and ci equal to like the maximum value, and we have to ensure that if it is even value, if it is even, we increment my answer. I hope you get the point. So the answer of this can only be one or zero because there can be only one peak. So the answer can be there is only one peak. So the answer can be only one or zero if there is no answer. I hope you understand the logic, the code, and the explanation for this video. If you still have any doubts, you can mention in the comment box. I will be posting down the link of this solution in the comment box also or in the description of this video. So do check that out. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, keep coding. Bye.